UPARTS, the an acronym for out-of-place artifacts, objects often found in extraordinary places, inexplicable in nature, and repeatedly dismissed by any who conform to mainstream institutional timelines for Homo sapiens. According to these, apparently already laid out chronologies specifically for man, the immense age of some of the out-of-place artifacts make their existences simply impossible to explain. The Nampa doll, for example, a favorite upart of a number of antiquarians and alternative historians alike. Found deep within the Earth's sediment, pumped to the surface, amongst the sediment which had been resting there for at least two million years, this small clay figurine, even adorned with surviving details of the fashion at the time of its creation. And although fascinating, this video does not focus upon zinc vases dynamited out of stone quarries, or iron pots found in 500 million year old coal seams, or even the imprints of chariot wheels found deep in mines in Russia. It pertains to a modest artifact, a simple mortar and pestle once found by a J. H. Neal. And although today mortar and pestles are not the most interesting of utensils, it is their extreme ages which make them remarkable finds. Confirmed as being of immense age, this mortar and pestle was found left in situ, discovered by a Mr. J. H. Neal in tertiary deposits dating back almost 33 to 55 million years. And just like that of the iron pot, found in the foundry, dated at 500 million years, felt compelled to create their own personal affidavits regarding the events and the legitimacy therein, no matter how hard it was to explain. These men felt compelled to do all they could to prove the legitimacy of said discoveries. On August 2, 1890, J. H. Neal signed an affidavit swearing his discovery to have been 100% legitimate. Mr. Neal declared that it is utterly impossible that these relics could have reached the position in which they once lay, unless it was at the time the gravel was deposited and present, yet before the lava cap formed giving a dating of around 33 million years old. How old is our species? Where do our origins lay? Within this vast, ancient, and seemingly infinite universe? Have we, as Earthlings, experienced ancient cataclysm? An amnesic event as so many ancient texts write of? If yes, then to what level of sophistication did these now lost ancient ancestors once reach? sophistications far too advanced for any mainstream publication to ever publish. It is a reality that the continual discovery of such artifacts are slowly proving was indeed a reality, no matter how difficult it is for any institute or individual historian to accept as a reality. It is an upart which we find highly compelling.